Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do Linux Fundamentals Part One. So we're still in the pre-security path. Uh, reset this. So let's get right into it. All right. While well, I was loading, there is a YouTube video that's from Try Hack Me, so you can watch through it. Uh, as always guys, I recommend reading through all this test to get a better understanding. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to complete these uh, task questions. All right, let's see, task one, introduction, just read through it, there's no answer needed, complete. All right, task two, a bit of background on Linux. So it talks about history, the uses, flavors and the questions below is research what year was the first release of Linux operating system so Google's your friend so copy and paste all right 1991 so done all right, task three, interacting with your first Linux system in browser. So let's start the machine. And automatically gives you a split screen. So most of my videos, I use the attack box that comes with uh, the, the website, but you can have your own Linux machine you want. So see while I was loading I uh, just want to let you know guys that um, I do not experience uh, I'm not in the IT industry but this is something I like learning and uh, I am trying to pivot my career into the field so currently I have certifications just just on my own personal time and I spend my own money uh, just like learning this stuff, I have IFT, A+, CYSA+, Network+, Pentest+, Security+. Plus. So, as you can see, they're all active. And uh, I'll sh show you guys how I pass the te these tests in the future. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's pretty much it. So, so while I was loading, so it just talks about how to deploy the first link machine. You could complete this. And task four is just running your first few commands. So it talks about echo and who am I? And um, as you get more practice, it's easy uh, to remember. So it might be foreign to you right now, but you'll get used to it as uh, you keep practicing. All right, while I was loading. Uh, I find it pretty easy and simple well the right direction you read through the tasks and uh, as long you read through the questions and what they're asking for and also with the hints you pretty much get the answer right away so the first question is this, if we wanted to output the text try hack me what would our command be it says remove the quotation marks so you read through right here is echo that's the command I'll put any text that we provide so echo try it says exclude the quotation mark oops all oh, right I typed it wrong there you go so that is see if you tried uh, on this Linux command there you go Next question, what is the username of who you log in as on your deployed Linux machine? Run the command, who am I in the terminal? So, who am I? Let's try at me. You get the copy and paste or type it out. I'm just gonna type it out. All right, there you go. Task five, interacting with the file system talks about the file system and there's commands I should read through it ls cd cat and pwd so it looks foreign to you right now but you'll get used to it as you practice more 
So on the questions below, on the Linux machine that you deploy, how many folders are there? So you go back earlier, how many folders? So LS is listening. So when you type LS, as you can see, there's four folders. Four, there you go. Which directory contains a file? Hint, we discuss a certain command that can be used to list the contents of directories. So as you can see, see the commands, let's see, folder number one, list contents, none. Let's go back, folder two, none. Go back, CD, folder three, none. All right, folder four, this command, there you go. So cat note text, cat means uh, what's inside of the document. So what directory contains a file, which is folder four, and then what is the contents of this file? And it's hello world. Nice. Use the CD command to navigate to this file and find out the new current working directory. What is the path? So it's asking what is the path? And use this last one. Print working directory, PWD. So, PWD. So it's basically, this is directory, home slash tryhatme dot folder four. All right, task five is complete. Task six, search for files. Talk about searching for files. So using the ls command, find, and wc. All right, answer your questions below. Use grep on access log to find the flag that contain prefix of THM. What is the flag? So use group THM access file. So it's talking about this command right here, group. Instead of using this example, you replace it with THM. So CD and it's talking about the access log right here. So let's use this command group THM access log. There you go. Get THM access. So highlight, copy. Nice. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Complete again. Let's go task seven, introduction to shell operators. So we're talking about operators and talking about these symbols right here. Now, answer your questions below. If you wanted to run a command in the background, what operator would we want to use? So it talks about running in the background. So this is an command. Correct answer. If I want to replace the contents of a file named passwords with the word password123, what will my command be? Hint, echo, content, file name. Okay, so echo, passwords, replace, you go back. So I believe is this one, redirect somewhere. Password, correct. Now, if I want to add, try hack me to this file name passwords, but also key passwords one, two, three, what will be my command be? Hint, echo, content, slash, slash, file name. So, it'll be echo, try hack me, 
uh, slash passwords one two three nice all right now I use the deployed Linux machine to put these in practice so you can use this or use this complete and that's it task 8 talks about conclusion and summaries of the Linux complete again you mess around with it and then task 9 move on to Linux fundamentals part 2 you could terminate this and complete complete there you go guys that's Linux fundamentals part 1 you can share your award batch, share your uh, your accomplishment on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I share mine on LinkedIn. And if you find this video helpful, guys, please give a thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button, and a comment below how to uh, for me to pr improve these videos. And yeah, uh, till next time. Thanks for watching.